on the road to Ras Ichdir. The street is dusty, and there are more and more army and police checkpoints. This is where Tunisia's border to Libya begins. Next door lies a failed state where chaos and violence rule. Just behind this border, so-called Islamic State is trying to extend its power base. Only a few days ago, IS fighters tried to storm the city of Sabrata, which is about 80 kilometers from here. Most of the IS fighters are originally from Tunisia. And that's a major concern, not only for the border guards here, but for the government in Tunis. The Tunisian army and police are on high alert, and the country is in a state of emergency. Last year, Tunisia saw three major attacks, carried out by Tunisian fighters who joined the Islamic State in Libya. During our filming, at least, border patrols are very frequent. Many travelers here have first-hand knowledge of Islamic State terror across the border. It was between 3 and 4 in the afternoon. Suddenly everything was empty. Everything was closed. They climbed onto the roofs and began shooting. The battles lasted for more than three days. On the way to the border, it was quiet. There were no problems at the checkpoint. The Tunisian-Libyan border is some 460 kilometers long. The government is building a wall along the entire length of it. Up until now, militants, weapons and even cosmetics easily crossed back and forth across the border. Many people in small towns like Ben Gardan earned their living by smuggling. Now the merchants in the market near the main mosque are complaining about their losses. Supplies from Libya have dried up. Profits are down by nearly half, this man says. Others complain that more and more Tunisians are returning home because they've lost their jobs in Libya. There are going to be more unemployed people here when they all return. We ask if people support IS or will be drawn to them here. No, no, impossible, they say. Not here. Around 6,000 Tunisians have already joined the Islamic State, according to UN estimates. We asked researcher Alaya Alani why. He says that since the Jasmine Revolution of 2011, when protests brought down the former regime, many mosques have been recruiting fighters for the war in Syria. Initially, Tunis did little to stop it. In my opinion, Islamist government is the first responsible for the development of the uh, terrorism phenomenon in Tunisia because this government, he, it, haven't, it hadn't any uh, program, any strategy for the security. The current government has promised Tunisians they'll do more to guarantee security and combat terrorism especially on the border. In Ras Ijdir, three ministers have arrived from Tunis. They're here to inspect the new border facility. Some border areas are still being built up, but it's already clear how important they are for fighting terrorism. We've made big investments here in Ras Ijdir. We are now going to continue that, for example, with a new fortified wall. Tunisians are afraid that the chaos in Libya will spill over the border to them.